going, and early voting begins on March uh, 12, I believe. Don't uh, check me on that, but there is early voting. Uh, we encourage everyone to vote. Um, a couple other notes, uh, you know, my, my term is very limited, um, a little under 100 days. And a lot of that is because uh, we made some history a few months ago here in Queens. We elected our very first female district attorney and chief law enforcement officer in the borough of Queens. And that was, of course, none other than the Honorable Melinda Katz, who is no stranger to Forest Hills. Uh, for better or for worse. Um, but that being said, she made some history, and so on her way out, she asked that I serve in an acting capacity uh, as we wait for our incoming borough president to be elected. Um, and so I focused uh, the first few weeks on making sure that Queensboro Hall continues to run, mostly on time, with the help of our community boards. Uh, and I'd like to encourage everyone and make sure you know that I've extended the deadline for community board applications, in case you don't know. The deadline is now March 13th, so if you haven't gotten your applications in and if you're interested, please do so. Um, and another priority in Q1 of 2019, uh, 2020 uh, is the census, as we know. And I'm sure we'll talk more about that soon. But in case you haven't heard, this year is a census. And the last time we had a census was 10 years ago when Queens was undercounted. We were undercounted. And an undercount, as a commissioner, know, commissioner knows, is something we just simply cannot afford. We simply cannot afford. Um, some approximates show that for every person who is not counted, costs us anywhere between $2,600 to $3,000 a person in federal funding per year. And so it really costs us because if you think about the borough of Queens, we're 2.4 million people. If we are undercounted by even 1% of that, check me on my math, my math is not so great. 1% of 2.4 million is 24,000 people times $3,000, that's, what is that? That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money per year. And so it's something we cannot afford. Uh, and so I urge you, March 12th, coincidentally, is when the questionnaires will go online. Uh, please remember to be counted. Please make sure that everyone in your family, every, all of your neighbors are counted. The citizenship question is not on the census. And so whatever the climate is, uh, it should not deter anyone from filling out that census. Um, actually, whether you fill it out or not, there is no scarlet letter. Uh, so I encourage you to fill that out because just as if we're not vote, if we don't vote, we're not counted. Uh, it can also cost us a house seat. Right. It can also cost us a house seat. Thank you, or two. Uh, so there are real costs to, to not being counted. Anyways, uh, you didn't come here to hear me lecture, but I wanted to put those important priorities of our borough on your radar, or back on your radar. Uh, but thank you very much for the invitation, and thank you very much for this honor to serve in this very limited time. Thank you, Acting VP Lee. And just a point of information, early voting starts Saturday, March 14th, and ends Saturday, March 22nd, so please everyone uh, go vote. And now I'd like to bring up your State Senator, Toby Ann Stavisky. Thank you, Commissioner, I love saying Commissioner. I knew him long before he was a Commissioner. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, thank you so much for coming back to Queens. I know you had lunch last week in Flushing, that part of my district, to show that Flushing is open for business. It's safe. Uh, I was there Sunday, and um, Queens is safe, and we thank you for coming. We thank you for bringing the uh, commissioners and the NYPD, and to uh, our council member, Karen Kozlowitz, thank you for everything that you do. Uh, Few people understand this, but I know how hard you work. We do it together. Karen said, because we do it together. <laughs> um, Mr. Mayor, there are so many people here because of the issues that are important to the people here, whether it be the bus redesign issue, a very significant issue, or education, the diversity plan for School District 28, 
the issue of the uh, gifted and talented programs. All of these are important issues that I'm sure you'll hear about uh, tonight. But we thank you for coming and listening and perhaps acting on some of the uh, issues that are important to everybody. So again, thank you very much. Thank you, Senator Stavisky. And now I'd like to bring up your assembly member, Andrew Hevesy. 